Oh my gosh! Anyone would think it was the holiday season. Look! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! Ha! ICS has hooked your boy up with brand new products and oh boy am I excited. Not one, not two, but three. Ah, but wait. I have to be fair, although ICS is one of my bigger backers of the channel, I gotta do them in the order in which they were offered to me and sent to me. This bad boy came first. So today's video is about the DE Airsoft and it is part of that family you can see right there. However, specifically, this bad boy is the M917. Something new from DE Airsoft. I don't know why DE Airsoft always does this, but for some reason, this bad boy came to me via Japan. It didn't come directly from where DE is based. Now, I don't know if they do the final assembly or they do something to it in Japan before it's released, but um, yeah, it came to me from Japan and you all know what that means, don't you? They would have put an extra spri- oh, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> take two. If you're wondering what that was all about, when I looked in here, it had one of these orange plastic um, flash hiders on, and uh, from what I can see, they didn't include a metal one. So, again, because this is a sample for me, I don't know what the final thing's going to be. So what I've done is I've uh, got one of my mini spear flash hiders and I've put it on there. So let's do this again because I can't stand these. Right, let's go again. See, I told you, I never open these things unless the camera's rolling because I would have spotted that before I started this video. So now here we go. Is that going to fall in its own? Yes, would you look at that? Yeah, oh, come on. <laughs> what does that remind you of? Very nice. There appears to be quite a few bits and pieces here. You would have thought they would have included a uh, alternative flash hider, but no, it was only the orange one. But who knows, by the time this goes out fully, they might start supplying that. I know how important these orange things are, okay? So I'm not playing them down, especially in certain countries like the USA. Okay, that's confirmed it. This is all the Japanese spec on that. Oh, and by the way, just in case you're wondering, in the UK, we're not required to have orange tips. So we get one of these, which is pretty handy if you haven't got a battery pack with a Dean's plug on it. Nice. Absolutely loving this mag, <laughs> but we'll get back to that. They even supply you with a little kit so you can convert your current battery into a battery that has a Dean's plug on it permanently instead of using that adapter. Very nice. Right, we also have... Ah oh, yes, I know what it is. It's a charging handle. What else have we got? Oh, okay. Oh, there's quite a few bits here. And of course, you've got all your paperwork and your instruction manual. And of course, you've got this awesome looking mag and the main attraction itself, the M917. I'm going to get it all out. I'll be straight back. Okay, so just to confirm, you get some rail covers, rail pieces, an alternative mag release, a charging handle, which can be put on either side, so that's cool, a cable adapter, so you can put a battery pack on there that has a Tamiya plug, and that converts it to a Dean's. You also get a Dean's little kit here, so that you can convert your battery to a permanent Dean's if you want. And yes, it did come with a stronger spring in the box, it was behind the magazine. And of course you got your screws and your little Allen key. Yeah, pretty decent. Although why the charging handle wasn't already installed is beyond me, but guess what? It doesn't matter, it's literally plug and play. Simple as that. And I'll tell you what, as I'm in the mood, let me put on all the extras, you know, the rail pieces and the rail covers. And I'll tell you what, I'll also swap the spring for the stronger one. And this really is a true quick spring change system. Once you get that little piece off, you literally get a big flathead screwdriver, get it in there, twist it, and look. Springs out, and there it is. That's where you change your spring. And by the way, as I'm here, 
how neat does that look without the stock? But then, how tactical does it become with? Groovy. When I pull the charging handle back without having to press anything else, that bad boy stays open. And then right there, you've got your hop-up rotary system. And then when you want to close it again, just how it should be, come on. Right, so the overall look for me, yeah, I'm giving that a nine out of 10. I really like this because um, notice I've put these covers on here. I just think it gives it a better overall look. That's my own personal choice. You may wish to actually put the actual rail segments there instead, if you want to put some other accessories on there. So, and right here, you've got one of those sight systems that is like a hybrid, it does too. So when they're not deployed, when they're down, you can see it's got a little front sight post right there, or, come on, and it's also adjustable for elevation. And as we're on the subject of sights, here's your rear one. And once again, when it's down, you've still got your rear sight system right there. But then, once again, lovely. And this one, you can adjust for windage and you can change your sight picture. Again, lovely. You've got a nice long top rail. I've already mentioned the options for side rails and things like that. Right here is your serial number. Man, that's a seriously long serial number right there, look. And uh, right there, you've got your DE Airsoft branding. That's what they're known for now. And right here, you have your selector switch. And that's where this model becomes extremely interesting. You know, some other brands, you've got to have a separate electronic box, okay, to program it, or, or you've got to plug it up to a computer, or you've got to do this and that. There are a few others that can do this, but this particular one, everything is done by the trigger. And I'll show you that very shortly. As we're here in this area, let's have a quick test of this selector switch. Feels fairly firm, listen out for the click. Yep, nice little positive click. Yeah, I'm liking that. There's a little, a little give when you just move it like that. But overall, when you're moving it to its different positions, nice and firm. And of course, one of the highlights for me in terms of looks is this very nice looking stick mag. And as we move along to this very smexy looking grip. Looks very comfortable, looks very tactical, but it is very practical too, because you see the front section there with that sort of checkering going on and the back section there? That's rubberized. So the rest of it is some nice firm ABS or polymer, but this panel right here that wraps around the front and around the back, it's a nice softish rubber. Very nice. And then of course you've got the stock. Go on, comment section, what does that remind you of? And in there is where you hold your battery pack. And down there is your rear sling point. And right there is where you can position your stock to various positions. At the rear of the stock, you've got a very nice grippy rubberized butt pad and rather handily a QD sling point. Nice. Okay, so whipping it around to the other side, you have your stock release right here, look. And right here, you've got your cheek rest adjustment. So you can, you know, you already know what this stock reminds you of. So it's the same principle. You have another sling point right there. And if you haven't already noticed, the selector switch is ambidextrous. And right here, you've got your paddle mag release. Now, talking about that, as I showed you earlier, in the package comes this bad boy. If a paddle mag release is not your bag, all you gotta do is knock that pin out and shove your alternative one in instead. Oh, go on then. Oh, and of course, I've just gotta whip that off and put it on there. Done. And the one thing I didn't tell you even though you swap this out to this one, look, sits very nicely under the trigger guard and nice. So even though I've swapped that out, you still have your paddle release 
as an option. Nice. Right, so just before I put the battery pack in and test out this whole trigger system, the Falcon system, quick look on the markings. Right there, you've got your UTR 45 or 45, whatever. And it looks like that's it, no more markings, but it's just how the light is shining on it. Look, if I turn it slightly, you will see the words. <laughs> Falcon system. And if you squint hard enough, you will see some microscopic markings on the front of each site. Right, so I have just finished charging up an 11.1 .1 volt battery pack. Extend the stock, and if it doesn't come off all the way, you just press on that right there. And Bob's your uncle. And as you can see, it has a Dean's plug. So out of the box, this is the first time I'm gonna be testing this thing and it should be in a standard mode, okay? So I take it off safe, put it on single, it's in a safe direction, mag is out, nothing in the barrel. Very snappy. Let me just quickly test the pull on this, how far it travels back before it engages. Not bad. Another good thing about this platform, you can actually adjust that. Let's try full auto. Come on now. Damn, I love this job. Right, let's see what we can do now when you program this bad boy to have different burst modes. So the first thing you need to do is put it back on safe. Pull and hold the trigger for three seconds. Did you hear the beep, beep, beep? Then you pull once. Now it's ready for you to tell it what sort of bursts you want it to do. So I want it to do a two round burst, so I'll just go one, two. And it actually confirms it for you. Two beats there mean it's ready. So if I go now to full auto, watch. See that? Two round burst. I won't go through them all. What I'll do is I'll jump all the way around to five round burst, okay? So, one, two, three. Seconds. Pull once. Wait. Now pull it five times. One, two, three, four, five. We are ready to rumble, swing it around. And it just did five beats there just to confirm. Ready? And I'm gonna keep my finger on the trigger and it will only do five. Nice! Nice! And do you know what the cool thing is? If you have finished for the day, let's say you've had a, a nice day's gameplay of Airsoft and you're done and you're going to take the battery pack out because you should never store these things with batteries in. When you take the battery pack out and whether you're playing again the next day, next week, next month, whenever, when you put that battery pack back in, guess what? It will still remember what setting you left it on. Come on! <laughs> now, just before I do the chrono and accuracy test, I want to change the sensitivity, okay? So that the slightest tap will get this bad boy pew pewing. So, to do that, once again, everything is done in safe mode. Now, by default, it's on its highest sensitivity, okay, out of the box. To change it, again, safe mode, Pull for three seconds. And then pull twice. Then put it to semi. Now if I pull the trigger once, that's the high sensitivity mode. Pulling it twice will be medium sensitivity. Pulling it three times will be standard sensitivity. Do you know what? Let's do this. Let's go for the chrono test. Oh, and by the way, if you want to reset everything, I'm not going to do this right now, but basically all you would do is put it on safe, hold the trigger down and keep it held down until you feel that constant vibration or constant beeping and then it's all reset. Right, let's do this. Now, quick criticism, because you know I like to be honest, there's many people out there who still have it in their head that just because I get these things for free, I'm just gonna say all good things. If you actually watched my videos, okay, all of it, you would know that's nonsense, okay? <laughs> right, and that even one or two big manufacturers will not send me anything anymore because I was too honest. Now, one criticism straight away, 
right here in the instruction manual where it talks about the magazine and filling the magazine up wouldn't you have thought that would have been a good place to put how many bbs go in the mag there's nothing but you know what other than that it does go into fairly good details about every other aspect of this model but nothing about how many bbs go in the mag what's that all about right so i filled the mag up no rattling excellent let's do the chrono test and i will say this okay the spring in the box i found out was the full power spring so i took it out again <laughs> and I replaced it with a lower power spring. So what you're gonna get from this is around 330, which is perfect, okay? If you live in other countries where you're allowed a higher FPS rate on full auto, the standard spring that this bad boy comes with will give you around 400. Ha! So we're looking for about 330 with the spring that I supplied instead. <laughs> Did you see that move? <laughs> it's like a reminder for me to put it on. Nice. There you go, as I said, around that 330 mark. Perfect. I've left it on that five burst, okay? The five round burst. Let's have a look. Oh, loving that. Oh, very nice. Now, I'm going to switch it up a bit because I'm loving that burst rounds. Yeah, <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a couple of uh, goes at that one right there. And then for the remaining dots, these three right here, I'm going to do five round bursts. OK, five round bursts. Then I'm going to reset it and empty the mag here, if there's anything left. <laughs> Perfect. Clean up on aisle four. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that because I'll keep it real with you again. Huge thank you to DE Airsoft. Really appreciate you sending this out to me because I think it looks beautiful to be fair. But also to keep it real, when I hear the name DE Airsoft or Double Eagle, I'm not thinking premium. I think of sort of budget, just above the lowest budget, sort of like medium to low sort of thing. That's where I would, in the past, put them. But having something like this, that feels nice and sturdy, looks the part, the finish on it is quite excellent. I was expecting that to be a bit shoddy, but it looks decent. Let me just check the mag wobble. Yeah, it's got a bit of a wobble there, a little bit of a give, but nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. The finish on it is beautiful. You can't take it away. There's nothing on this that looks like budget apart from come on you always knew there's going to be an apart from okay or something that's going to be quite not to my liking okay it's a modern piece right so that's the sort of get out clause i'm going to give it when i tell you this entire blooming thing is polymer okay the only metal elements are basically your sling points your bolt release, your trigger, all that sort of stuff, the normal stuff, yeah? And, of course, the internals. Now, talking about the internals, it's got that fancy, all-new Falcon electronic gearbox. Sounds fancy? Out of the box, everything is working perfectly, but how will it hold up? Who knows? I'll tell you who will know me! Way down in the future, okay, when I do an update. Other than that, i tell you who else will know. There are other uh, DE Airsoft uh, platforms that have the Falcon system in there. 
This is the all new Falcon system. I believe it's number two, I could be wrong. But regardless, put in the comment section, what are your experiences with the Falcon electronic gearbox? Because that's what's my, the, because that's what my channel is also all about. Not just about me blabbing on, okay? Um, what are your experiences? I want people that watch my videos to also look in the comment section. Don't just take my word for everything. Right, so I've got an announcement to make. As you know, not too long ago, I hit that milestone of 400,000 subs and I said I was gonna do a big giveaway, which I normally do every 100,000 subs. Things have changed recently. My circumstances have changed. Things in this country have changed. Um, I'm gonna have to delay this giveaway, but it is going to happen. But one of the main reasons why I'm delaying it now is because I got a lot of communication of people complaining that they don't have Instagram. And it's not fair that many of my loyal viewers, and I'm only talking about my loyal viewers, those that watch all my videos, okay, regardless. And I tell you now, you can look in my videos now. Look at the video I did before this. It's barely got 4,000 views. Those are the people who are loyal to me, who watch all my content. But look at the video before that. Over 70,000 views, okay? That was just about four weeks ago. Purely because people were interested in that particular Tokyo Marui uh, unboxing I did. They couldn't give two hoots about me and my channel. <laughs> it's just my loyal viewers that will watch anything I put up. Again, the example, the previous video to this one was only about 4,000 views, okay? So I'm only talking to you, my loyal viewers right now. I will do the giveaway, okay? You don't have to have Instagram, you'll be happy to know. I'm gonna switch it up. All I ask is that you also subscribe to my other channel because again, the only way I'm gonna get around this thing of not giving away nice giveaways to people who just watch my channel to get something for free is if I don't announce it like I used to announce it before. So when I do the giveaway and it will happen in the new year, it will either be announced during one of my videos, either on this channel or my other channel, but it will be all Airsoft related giveaways, okay? So even on my other channel, I might even say, right, I'm gonna give something away for my people who are watching me from my Airsoft channel. So there you go, that's the only fair way I can do it. So if you followed me on Instagram just because you thought you're gonna get something free, and I know, listen, I'm not stupid. <laughs> The amount of fake and ghost Instagram accounts that started following me all of a sudden. I gained about a thousand new followers in the last two, two or so weeks ago. And when you look at most of them, either the uploads have only been done that day or that week, or there's only one photo, or there's no photo, and people think I'm just gonna allow them to walk away with something that looks like that or other stuff. Talking about that. That's one of the giveaways that's gonna happen. And I just wanted to mention to you, this is how you can tell that they have moved away from the name Double Eagle. Now that's the Honey Badger, one of the last few AEGs they are doing under that full name Double Eagle. This being a brand new product, see, doesn't say Double Eagle anymore. It's got DE Airsoft. So to end the video, Thank you very much to DE Airsoft. Thank you to you, my loyal viewers, my subscribers, my VIP members. I call them my executive producers. <laughs> uh, thank you so much um, for your continued support. And um, yeah. <laughs>